our next guest, the main uh, uh, stakeholder, one of the four main stakeholders for UNU Flores in Dresden, uh, Professor uh, Muller Stenhagen, the rector of Technical University of Dresden. Rector since 2010, as uh, was mentioned by uh, our rector, TUD was selected in 2012, one of the 11 German universities of excellence. Uh, he was director of the Institute of Technical Thermodynamics of the German Aerospace Center and director of the Institute for Thermodynamics and Thermal Engineering of the University of Stuttgart during 2000-2010. By the way, you may uh, find the name uh, and the information about uh, all the stakeholders in this uh, booklet that uh, uh, distributed among all of you. Professor Stinghagen, please. Dear Professor Osterwalter, Honorable Minister von Schorlemer, Honorable Professor Pellembe, dear Mr. Metzger, Excellencies, Presidents, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you to the city of Dresden. And I hope that you will have time, in addition to the work you do here, to visit the city and to have a look at some of the uh, historical parts. Dresden is a city of um, outstanding beauty. It's also a city of science, culture, and the arts. And in such, I think, it will provide a fertile ground for you and you flowers to flourish. For the city of Dresden and in particular for the Technische Universität Dresden, the choice to place UNU Flores here in Dresden in cooperation with GU Dresden is a great honor indeed. For us who work and live here, it's a confirmation that our continuous strive for interdisciplinary and internationality in research and teaching is going into the right way. You have already heard that the, uh, there is a long tradition of integrated research management in the free state of Saxony. Exactly 300 years ago, the German word for sustainability was actually coined here in conjunction with the uh, resource depletion in forests related to the mining industry. And therefore, it's not a great surprise that the uh, GU Dresden is following up on this topic very strongly by using interdisciplinarity and innovative approaches which are required for the manifold challenges and the speed of ongoing changes of the world we live in. We have more than 100 professors in our university with water, energy, and the environment as their main topics of expertise. And we are happy and proud that we are now given the opportunity to bring in this vast portfolio of competences and knowledge into the cooperation with new and new flores and that by doing this we can make our own ideas and concepts more visible at an international level. Now in the core of our cooperation is of course our faculty of environmental sciences. In this faculty research and development towards sustainability and the sustainable, sustainable human habitat and the monitoring of the earth as a system on local, regional and global scales are central aspects of their work. The department or the faculty, sorry, the faculty is structured 
into three main departments. There is, mostly related here to this new institute, the Department of Hydro Sciences, with its combination of engineering sciences on the one side and natural sciences on the other side. And this trend-setting combination has been existing since 1968 and has proven incredibly successful. This competence is complemented by the departments of forest sciences, by the way the oldest department of this kind in Europe, and the department of geosciences, which both contribute to the overall picture of a modern, modern faculty of environmental sciences in such that they use new research approaches such as environment system analysis, the production and exploitation of renewable raw materials, soil protection, earth observation, geospatial data analysis, and an integrated environmental planning. There is already a significant number of national and international research projects in operation with these departments, and I think this confirms the general approach that we are following up. The work of the Faculty of Environmental Sciences and of the University is complemented by interdisciplinary platforms such as the Trace and Water Center at the University, joint appointments with the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig, and the Leibniz Institute of Ecological, Urban and Regional Development. And there are also research associations established, such as the International Water Research Alliance in Saxony or acro fornet and all this strengthens the research priority, water, energy, and the environment. And uh, I think it's interesting for you to know that just today and tomorrow we have here in Dresden a meeting of the Desertec University network, which of course networks the countries in the northern Africa and the Middle East with Europe, also related to energy, environment and capacity building. Now considering all these fantastic developments, I think it's an almost natural development that uh, the cooperation with Unifloris here will continue to develop our professional competences, our internationalization process, and also extend our scientific network. In addition, this cooperation gives us a unique opportunity for the transfer of knowledge by establishing, testing, and development, developing different methods and technologies under the specific circumstances of emerging and developing countries. Ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you, the Technische Universität Dresden will be a reliable partner in research and teaching, and it will support the United Nations University in establishing its institute, UNU Flores, here. By locating this institute here, you're not just getting Technische Universität Dresden as a partner, which is, by the way, the largest technical university in Germany with more than 37,000 undergraduate students, 2,500 PhD students, and more than 500 professors. And you have already heard that uh, we are one of the 11 universities of excellence in Germany. No, you get much more. You get together with TU Dresden also our partners in the so-called Dresden concept, a unique partnership of the university and presently 19 non-university research institutes of international standing here in Dresden, ranging from the cultural side all the way to technical expertise. In cooperation with the University of the United Nations, the Technical University of Dresden will strengthen the further development of its international study programs, as well as the establishment of new graduate schools. And this, together with common modules, will enrich 
the teaching of master programs, the education of PhD candidates, and thus we will be able to attract more international students to Dresden and we increase the visibility of both the university and the UNU Flores Institute at a national and international level. UNU Flores will pay special attention to the topic of capacity development and will together with the university strengthen its competences in this field and integrate these competences into the international dialogue. There is an additional special link here with the successful work of the Center for International Postgraduate Studies of Environmental Management, or CIPSEM, a center that is also part of our Faculty of Environmental Sciences. And this center is under the patronage of the United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, UNESCO, and it's financed by the German Federal Ministry of the Environment, Nature Protection and Nuclear Safety. This center has now been in operation for 35 years and during these 35 years more than 1,770 postgraduate students from 135 emerging or developing countries took par car part in the courses that have been offered by this center here in Dresden. And out of this center a wonderful alumni network has developed, which is unique and very active worldwide. And I particularly want to mention that this alumni network has the ability to transfer environmental knowledge into political and legislative systems worldwide. And I want to bring also this center into the cooperation with UNU Flores because there are many synergies that can be found out of this cooperation. Other important advantages of the cooperation between UNU Flores and the GU Dresden are the opportunity, of course, to share laboratory capacity to realize joint appointments. There is a planned exchange of teaching staff and we will realize joint research projects which all will contribute to a more intense collaboration between our two institutions. We are all looking forward to getting to know each other better and I'm deeply convinced that both sides will develop and benefit largely from this cooperation. Together we will be able to make a significant contribution to improvement the management of natural resources. Thank you very much.